So in Red Hat Enterprise Linux Systems, you're going to have to register that system uh, to Red Hat's network using your account and credentials. And your account will have subscriptions assigned to it based on what you've paid for or, what, or what you, what's available to you. Like I have the developer subscription, which is free from Red Hat. Uh, so if you do get the developer description, you'll get a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 uh, ISO image, which I've loaded into a VM here. But you can see it says system is not registered. There's two ways you can register a system. Um, you can do it through the GUI or through the command line. And then if you're registering uh, to a satellite server on a disconnected network or your own satellite server in your own organization, the steps are going to differ a little bit. Uh, but if you go over here to the top right and hit settings, again, it's the system not registered. I'm under about. If I hit register, I can choose who, where, where do I run a register to? Red Hat's uh, network or my own, maybe I have my own satellite server, right, that I want to pull a subscription from. What type? Do I want to use it, an account? Is it going to prompt me for username and password? Or maybe I have an activation key that I want to use. So I don't need a username and password. And then we'll have our login for our uh, Red Hat account and then our password for that account. And then organization, if uh, so say you use activation key, you'll have to provide an organization. Or maybe you have multiple organizations and you want to pick which one you want to subscribe to. So I'm not going to do that here in the GUI. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. And I'm back at the command line. And I've SSH'd in with Visual Studio Code. And if I do a subscription manager status, going to tell me the status of my subscription. It says unknown, right? That's because I'm not registered, as we saw in the GUI. So if I wanted to register my system, I would do a subscription manager uh, register. And it's going to ask me for my credentials. So I'm going to put these credentials in, and then I'm going to come back because I don't want you to see my credentials. All right, so I've entered my credentials, uh, and you can see that the system has been registered with an ID of this and the system name of this. I'm going to go ahead and clear screen here. And now that I'm registered, I should have available subscriptions, right? And I said I'm using the developer subscription. So if I get a subscription manager, uh, what was the command? Uh, list, list. If I did a subscription manager list available, it's going to tell me all the subscriptions I have available to me with the account that I use to register. And you can see here, I've only got one. I've got the Red Hat developer subscription as a pool ID. Uh, and the way we, I only have one subscription, so I could attach the subscription by using the subscription manager subscribe, and it would, it would automatically subscribe me. Or I could do attach, and then the pool, e pool equals, and then the pool ID, right? I could do this pool ID here. There's different ways you can do it, but for now, I'm just going to do a subscription manager subscribe. It's going to... Now you can see my system has subscribed to that uh, subscription I have. And now, uh, how do, what do I do once I'm subscribed? What's the point of subscribing? Well, subscribing is, is going to let you know which repos you have access to. So you can see... Uh, this subscription is giving me access to these products, these repos, right? So if I went ahead and did a subscription manager, uh, repos, dash dash list, it's going to list all the available repos I have uh, available to me based on the subscriptions I'm subscribed to. This could take a minute. And you'll see, uh, I have all these different uh, you know, repo IDs, repo name, and they, but they all have zero for enabled, right? Because none of them are enabled. I don't necessarily have to have them all enabled because that that's just not necessary. So if I did want to enable one, right, it would be a subscription manager, uh, repos, dash dash, enable equals, and then the name of the repo I want to enable. So maybe I want... Rel 8 for x86-64 app stream. This could take a second. And 
it's enabled. If I wanted to enable all of them, it would just be as simple as a dash dash enable, then a star asterisk, and that would enable all of them at once. So I wouldn't have to go through and enable them one by one. 